it's time to look at what makes us fat and keeps us fat. There's so much nonsense taught about obesity, not only through the media, but even through published findings of trained scientists and doctors who by rights should know better. If ever you decide to take time out and plow through the voluminous research and declarations about obesity, its cause and its cure, as I've done virtually ad nauseum, you will discover that certain conclusions about the cause of weight gain and the difficulties of making weight loss permanent absolutely demand to be drawn. And some of them, I think, will surprise you. Why? Because we've been taught to believe so many false things by the media, food manufacturers, and Big Pharma. Let's look at some of them. Obesity is not a disorder caused by lack of exercise, nor is it caused by overeating or lack of willpower. It's a state of excess fat accumulation as a result of some as yet officially unidentified disequilibrium in the hormonal regulation of our fat metabolism. This is the major issue which must be addressed to conquer the epidemic of chronic overweight, and of course this is what Cura Romana does address. Taking in excess calories is not why we gain weight, nor does expending a lot of energy prevent it. Because of the effect that foods exert on insulin and blood sugar, refined carbohydrates, sugars, and starches are, this is important, undeniably the dietary culprits in the development of diabetes, coronary heart disease, and obesity. They are also inevitable contributors to other diseases of civilization, including cancer and Alzheimer's disease. With the exception of chemically distorted oils and fats full of trans fatty acid, traditional oils and fats like olive oil and coconut oil and butter also do not cause obesity. What does? Cereals, grains, and sugar-based carbohydrates. They distort hormonal regulation and homeostasis, fostering obesity as a consequence of the way that they disturb insulin balance. They engender insulin resistance syndrome, often called metabolic syndrome or syndrome X. You see, because carbohydrate foods such as these stimulate insulin secretion, they also increase hunger and diminish the energy available to the body to fuel good metabolic processes and for use in day-to-day -day life. I, I believe it's really important that you become aware of these things so that you don't fall prey any longer to swallowing all the mis to swallowing all the misleading information that's out there. You can see how passionately I feel about it. <laughs>